hi beautiful people how are you doing i trust all is well with you and your families hmm. today i bring you the part two of that uh, how i reversed my bp naturally okay so for this part two put god first in everything we do we have to put god first so pray about your health challenges commit your commit everything to the hands of god that's the first thing. I won't lie to you. I did that. I prayed a lot about it. After praying, then you have to do your own human effort, which is um, uh, changing your lifestyle. Control what you eat. It's not about not eating at all or eating foods that you're not comfortable with or that are not readily uh, available or is not easily accessible. I'm not saying you should every day of your life you should be eating cabbage and eating <laughs> you understand you can still eat you can still eat our normal food but the only thing is you have to do uh, portion control that's the most thing. you want to eat rice just control the portion and make sure you're not eating it maybe with just you you're eating it with um you're eating it with um vegetable or you are that's vegetable soup or maybe you're eating it with your uh salad you understand and you want to eat a solid, just little, little portion with a lot of soup. You want to eat a unripe plantain with um, a vegetable soup. You want to cook your, if you want to even eat pasta at all, once in a while, little, and then with a lot of vegetables in it. You know, cut your carrots in it, put your different color of peppers in it. They all have, you know, the health benefits that they add to you. So, I don't believe in not eating food that you're familiar with or comfortable with. No, you should eat. and uh, and the way you cook it. A lot of time too, we overcook our food, so be careful how you cook your food. The quantity of salt in your food that is very very in fact very essential. Reduce your salt intake because when your sodium is, when the sweat sodium is high in your body, definitely your BP will shoot up. So reduce your consumption of salt, the table salt. Or cooking salt or whatever you call it and uh, another thing you have to pay attention to is the type of oil that you use you see all these um, I don't want to mention a particular oil now but be careful the best oil that I will tell you I will advise you to use is actually olive oil if you can afford it you see olive oil and sesame oil and uh, there's another one almond oil you understand so and then you use them in little quantity you avoid fried food you don't have to fry your meat you stop eating fried meat fried plantain fried yam fried everything instead just air fry them if you have the air fryer and if you don't have air fryer you can just eat them like that avoid plantain all those frying of things consuming a, you know a excess oil it is not good because if you take a lot of i've been controlling what i eat i'm not really a foodie foodie kind of person and i'm very careful with what i eat i don't eat out i don't trust if i see when it comes to food i'm always extremely careful so um but i noticed then that i wasn't exercising a lot and i'm going to get that, get to that so number one thing i've mentioned is to put everything in the hands of god number two that i forgot to mention is peace of mind see before you even mount all the other <laughs> relevant uh, advice i'm giving here now number one is put god first number two is give yourself peace of mind no amount of drugs or lifestyle changes you do that is going to work if you don't put if you don't put your mind at rest whatever is bothering you try and work on it try and work on it oh. if that one is sorted and you have peace of mind you have nothing bothering you you can go to bed and sleep in peace you understand not that you go to night sleep at least seven to eight hours be well hydrated that one is another very important point i have to use juice and tea to replace water no no i'm not saying you should not take your tea in moderation I'm not focus on consuming natural natural juices you understand not the regular ones you pick in the store that have preservatives uh, additives uh, you know that are not natural you understand what i'm i'm, I'm trying to see? do that you do portion control of the foods you are actually comfortable with you see all these uh, eat uh, lettuce in the morning eat whatever in the afternoon it doesn't work for a lot of people and that's why they cheat you know the, the plan you give them meal plans they don't stick to it because they are not things that are easy to eat for them 
can I imagine for some people now for over 40 something years or 50 years of their lives they've been eating a particular food and now you're introducing something entirely different it might not be easy for them you understand we can still eat our normal food but just make sure that you do portion control and pay attention to how you cook it from the uh, quantity of salt in your food the type of oil you are using the texture of the food do not overcook your food especially your vegetables please and for your meats please cook them very well stop eating uh, half cooked meats it is not good Blood and pressure if you're working on uh, reducing it you have to pay attention to the kind of meat you eat stop eating red meat eat fish you know eat fish and uh, uh, chicken you understand uh -huh. so to emphasize uh, the natural juice I mentioned you like we do in Royal Gusto place reach out to us we have different uh, plans for you for for wellness for uh, to reduce or regulate your blood pressure to control or lower your cholesterol to uh, manage uh, diabetes for fertility for insomnia, for area. we have for stress. See, if you are stressed, you, you, might, you, might, you might casualize it like I just work and now I'm stressed. If you are stressed, it can actually lead to a lot of health complications. If you are stressed, your BP will shoot up. If you are stressed, you can lose your appetite. You know, if you are stressed, you will not be able to sleep. And once insom insomnia sets in, you know what that one can lead to. So a lot of things that we do if we pay attention to just regulating this one, you know, uh, uh, reducing consumption of this and that, before you know it, you, you will have very good health to live your normal life. So that's another thing that is important that I've been doing. There was a point I, at a point I registered at the um, iFitness and I went a couple of times, but, you know, because of this busy schedule in Lagos, I couldn't um, meet up. I'm a mom. And all those uh, busy activities in the morning, you do school runs, you go to work and all that. I couldn't meet up, so I had to be fed, I had to be uh, real to myself. And I stopped, but I made sure that within my estate, I'll walk around. Sometimes I'll just do it, I'll just combine it as my prayer walk time. I'll just uh, walk around maybe 30 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes, even another time, one hour. The other, just walk around your estate, walk around your neighborhood. And make sure you do it every day if you cannot do it in the morning you can do it in the evening when you're back from work but make sure you walk around every day mm -hmm. the benefits of taking natural juice is inexhaustible i just want to advise that you reach out to us at royal gusto place if i tell you mm -hmm. to reach out to us you might be looking at okay at the end of the day all she's been saying is because of business really royal i started royal gusto place because of my own uh, health issues here right here and there that I had. So I was trying to manage those things naturally as against taking drugs because the thing is, the side effects of these drugs sometimes are even worse than even the symptoms you feel because of whatever is wrong with your body. You understand what I'm saying now? If you say you have a BP and you're taking BP medications, the side effects of the BP medication sometimes, you wonder if it's not even better for you <laughs> to even manage your uh, your BP, you know, naturally. So I will tell you, I'm not saying quit taking your drug just like that. Be taking the drugs and be taking the natural juices that would be like that. I was taking my drugs, I was taking the juices, taking the uh, ginger flakes, and before I knew it, it just stabilized and over time i didn't have to take the drug again before i knew it sometime i'll try to take it again like is this thing really gone and before i knew it it became stable for the longest you understand so don't pull out of your drugs and say you no continue to take your drug and use that to manage it and over time the creation of royal gusto's place i was trying to take care of my health naturally and when I, when I did it and it worked for me, I felt I should not be stingy with it. I wanted to share it with the world. So that's why I created the company to be able to impact so many lives. So these are things I've done that worked for me. I advise that you do the same. Reach out to